morning, welcome to BOTB HQ, Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, presenter here at BOTB. We're here this morning to judge the dream car competition and the lifestyle competition, running from the 1st to the 7th of October 2018. Just before I continue, massive congratulations to both of our winners last week in the dream car competition, winning a brand new Mercedes E400, Salim Sarwar. And in our lifestyle competition, picking up the garden pod we have in the lineup, uh, Heike Hess. I'm now going to pass over to Mark Rimmer from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. Hi there, my name is Mark Rimmer from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I'd now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a, uh, a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. So if I could first introduce Matt Cannon, please. Good morning, Mark. I'm Matt. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer, and I last played on Saturday. Three. Peter Georgia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Peter Georgia. I'm an <coughs> AFA football and football referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Number two. Leo Donnellan, please. Good morning, Mark. Hello. Hello, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham, and Leighton Orient. Number five. Gareth Deneen, please. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Gareth. Good morning. My name's Gareth Deneen. I'm a senior county referee, and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. I have number six. Trevor Weaver, please. Morning, Mark. Morning, Trevor. Good morning. I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for over 30 years, and I also mentor. Number seven. Ari Mendonca. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Uh, my name is Ari Mendonca. I've been involved, with, involved in football for over 30 years. Firstly, as a player, now as a referee. Four. And Kieran Fitzgibbon. Good morning. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've been playing football for more than 30 years and more recently I've taken up referee. Thank you. Number one. OK, judges, please could you mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. And I'll then ask you to come to a panel decision on the central screen. OK, Matt, please could you justify the position of your cross? Yeah, mine's the red cross up here, uh, above my colleagues. Um, I believe this guy's just headed the ball. Uh, his head's flattened on his forehead, his forehead's um, um, furrowed and I think he's headed the ball this way. I haven't gone lower because I just don't think his head's tilting down that way. And I've cross-referenced this guy. He's looking up at the ball and I've put the centre of the ball there. Thank you. And Trevor, please. Yeah, well, I'm the lowest one and uh, unsurprisingly, or not surprisingly, I disagree with Matt's interpretation of this picture. This player, I believe, has headed it. He's headed it down. This player is looking above and just going on what we can see from that picture, I decided the centre of the ball would be there. Thank you. And same again, please, there. Yeah, on the blue cross, there's two players in shot. I think this player has headed the ball as well. Um, I think if you look at his shape of his head and his forehead uh, and his eyes, he's looking down. I think the ball has, has been headed downwards. Uh, uh, but judging this player, looking at his eyes, he's looking intently up this way sort of directly above, so just with the height of him and this player being lower down, I think it's about there. Thank you. And Ari, please. Yes, my cross is the orange over there. I believe as well, the player in orange, he just added the ball, he flicked it towards that direction. Uh, he's looking uh, uh, that position as well, same one. Player, player in, in, on this side is the ball is, is about to pass just in front of his, of his head, slightly, slightly to, to his right. I just cross-reference with, with, with the eye lines and I, I position myself over there. Thank you. Clear and save again, please. Hi, uh, yeah, mine's the grey cross here. I'm in the middle of a number of other crosses. <coughs> again, without any other references, I've taken the eye lines from both players. This player looks like he's obviously jumped higher than this player and headed the ball in a downward direction. This player is looking upwards. So I've taken the two eye lines as a judgment for where I cross it and put my cross there. Thank you. Peter? Yeah, mine's the, the purple cross there. Uh, in agreement with Kieran there, I think we believe that the player 
uh, has headed the ball. He's looking down. I've, I've taken a, uh, uh, the angle from there, uh, from the, the shape of his head looking down. And again, with the guy here, like Leo was saying, looking intensely up this way. And where the intersection is, that's where I've got the centre of the ball. Great, thank you. And last up, Gareth, please. Right, well, I come from a different area. I think this guy has missed the ball. I don't think he's headed it at all. Like he's missed it. He's jumped in front and missed it. And I think he's looking at the player here. He's rigidly concentrating on the on the ball, which is above him, in the foreground. Well, there's a yellow cross here, so I've taken a line up in this direction. I think he's looking at the player rather than the ball. So then it's a question of judging the height. And he's, 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 he's concentrated on the ball, so that's where I put the yellow cross. Thank you. OK, judges, please could you come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the seven individual selections. OK, once again, around the average, we've got five judges. Um, and we've got Matt and Trevor. high, and then we've got Trevor who's low. So. Can we see what happens if we take Matt and Trevor out? So if we can just move our sleep. Well, it's, it's a go back to the last competition. Is if you if you start taking people out and shifting the average too much, yeah. not equidistant. But so that's the, if it was equidistant and it didn't move, then you've got a point. But the fact that it does shift down further away from me if you remove you and me, but it doesn't we, work for me. But what I'd say, but, I agree with you, Matt. But, mm. but one that's high, so far. and we've got one that's yeah, low. But so they're unless they're equidistant. Yeah. Because if you take us out, both comes out. This shifts further away from my position. Yeah. yeah, if it didn't shift at all, comes, it fair comes enough. Down, it comes down yeah. about here. Yeah. yeah. So we just take Matt out then. What happens? It goes away. So that's not. A... You took everybody else's out, and you go straight to where mine is. So I'm saying you can only take it out like we did on the last one if these are equidistant and they're not. Yeah. And it's further away from me. If you were further away from me and it moved up a little bit, it'd be the same argument in reverse. Yeah. yeah. Well, what line we got from this guy's eyes? Yeah, well, I mean, we've got. We're not a million miles away from any of us. No, no. So let's go and get the, the line. If you were to magnify on his eye. You six of you think he's headed it. I think he's missed it. I think he's yeah. just jumped in front of the player. So he's, 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 he's irrelevant. What you can't say. Yeah, to, to me, he's, he's irrelevant to it. I think this guy's so rigidly concentrated on the ball. I, 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 I don't think he's, he's challenging because I think if he's if he headed the ball with the speed of the ball, he, yes, he, he doesn't have chance to, to, to challenge. So he's just looking at the ball passing to, in yeah, front of him. That's, 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 that's my point. If he had flicked the ball, you wouldn't, he wouldn't be concentrated so much on on, 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 on on what angle. He would be sort of well, whatever right. reason you're, you're you're still in yes, agree. In, yeah, in, yeah, in, in that. Question, group. I don't agree question. with your reasoning yeah. actually, but I mean, at least it, it's it's it within. Yeah, well, I thought it was coming from left yeah, field, so uh, yeah. I just don't think he would, he's headed the ball. I just don't think you know. If he's headed the ball, his, his eyes are open, which quite often is the yeah. case. Yeah. You know, but that's fair enough, but okay. you're in the mix of these five. Yeah, so yeah, the so average for me is about as far south as I want to go. Mm. And if you look at this play, we, we feel it is just to the, the left of him. Yeah, definitely. The is. height is kind of, for most yeah. people, good, isn't it? So, so Matt's on the right line, if we get the angle. You know, he just thinks he's higher than the rest of us. So, mm -hmm. yeah. He's not a million miles off. So once again, we should stick with the average. You think? Well, I think it's fair to stick with the average because there are we're not sure exactly what's happening. We don't know. It's not head of ball. It's not head of ball. We don't know how far above because their eyes are open. How far above? This guy's in the foreground as well. The the only orange guy in the foreground. Yeah, like a foot or so, something like that. If you put that as the ball, it works. It works. Yes. Matt, 
you're, you're happy with that crosses now. No, well, I still think it's higher up, but then with the, the argument, I'm, I'm not prepared to to have me taken out in lieu of Trevor being taken out because they're not equidistant. Yeah. It well, just it's shifts it further away from my position. So it's, you know, it's if I think the ball's up there, there's no point in me going further. So it just doesn't work for me. Well, I mean, if you, well, if you put that, the round bit on, uh, on my cross, uh, I, or anybody's cross, you, it's, it's still going to work from a football point of view. I just think he's headed it more powerfully well, than... I, yeah. I mean, in the past, when I've been that far away from everybody else, I can then perhaps have a second opinion and see why everybody else has gone into that position and agreed to have my one taken out. Well, if you want yours taken out, that's fine. No, yeah, but if I was that far away, I would agree to have it taken but out. I think, like we said, Trev, if, if um, you know, Matt feels he should be there, you feel he should be there, it's not right or wrong, really, is no. it? Yeah. No, so we have to go with can the you just, can you just move the, uh, the ball away so to speak, to the grizzle gap? I mean, it's, I in, it's in that cluster, isn't it? So yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty it's good. good. The position of the average doesn't move that much anyway. It was no. over there to over there. So if I you take Trevor and, and we, do we take Trevor and Matt out, the, the, the average was down goes there. As Matt says, you know, he, do, he doesn't feel it's that low. So. Yeah, so I think we should. Otherwise, otherwise you could end up taking both of these out, then these two are height, and then you end up with one. So it's it's got to be an average. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were happy. Yes. So the coordinates submitted are x coordinate two, three, six, seven. Uh, y coordinate 908. Uh, now these coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to uh, calculate the winner of the competition and they'll then inform best of the best. That concludes today's judging this morning. Thanks all very much. Thank you.